our comments with Jacksepticeye. How long do you plan to do YouTube? I plan to do YouTube for as long as I'm allowed to do YouTube. As long as nobody kicks me off the site, or as long as my physical body can maintain. I have absolutely no plans of stopping YouTube anytime soon. I have no idea what the future will hold. I literally have no idea how long it'll last, but I'm having way too much fun. It's too cool to do, and I love the community way too much to stop it anytime soon. What's the weirdest dream you've had? I've had a lot of crazy dreams, but very few of them I can actually remember. That's always the case with dreams, isn't it? You wake up, and you're like, what the fuck was I dreaming about? You know it's weird, you know something crazy happened, but you just can't remember what it was. But one of them that's always stuck with me was one where I, I was a female cop in a dream. I have no idea why, and it wasn't like I was a female Irish guard. I was actually a female cop, like I was in America or something. And I was going around trying to stop all these people from doing something. I can't remember what it was, I was just calling from door to door. And then one of them I called to, and then we were out in the middle of a field, and I got stabbed. I got stabbed and died in my dream. And that was- that was just so bizarre. It wasn't a case of me like waking up like in a movie where I'm startled and I have fucking dream sweats or anything like that. I just woke up and I was like, that was really oddly bizarre and really oddly realistic. Like it felt so real at the time. And when I woke- when I woke up, it just kind of disturbed me for about a half hour. And then I was like, okay, I guess that happened. And I have a lot of dreams where I die. I don't know why. I don't know what that signifies. I'm sure somebody out there can tell me what dying in a dream signifies. It's probably not as bad as it seems, but I die a lot in my dreams. Do you have your diamond play button yet? No, I have not. And I have absolutely no idea if or whenever it will arrive. Somebody at Google did come to me like a month ago and asked, did I claim for it? And I said, no. And then they said, okay, I'm on it. And I haven't heard anything since. So I don't know if it's arriving or not. I mean, I don't mind. I'm patient. I'll wait. I don't need the the award right now. I did see some of them in person, and they're actually very nice, and they're super fucking heavy. But at the same time, I've already gotten way more out of YouTube than I ever thought imaginable. Than I ever thought possible by me. So, at, at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? It's cool that YouTube are rewarding things, but at the same time, I'm like, if it never arrived, I'd still just be just as happy. I don't need, like, an award or reward or anything like that from YouTube to validate what's been done by this channel and this community already because I think it's just phenomenal and I'm having a blast and it's great that all you guys are here and get to enjoy the content all the time and we're all doing just really happy things all together we're not changing the world or anything like that um, but we're just here having a good time trying not to spread negativity and trying not to devour each other and kill each other on the internet like everybody else tries to do all the time so it's awesome not to say that I'm not I wouldn't be grateful for actually receiving it or that I don't think the channel is worthy of it or anything like that. I'm really, really proud of the channel. And it's cool that YouTube give out these awards or... I keep saying awards instead of rewards. They're not awarding me people for anything. They're rewarding people for getting a certain milestone. So it's really cool. I'm really grateful for that. But at the same time, I'm patient. I can wait. <laughs> if you were gay, would you date Markiplier or PewDiePie? Okay, this question comes up a lot. First off, I I'm not gay. That's just the big thing straight away. I'm not gay. I never will be gay. Not that, that there's not absolutely nothing wrong if you are gay. More power to you. Love whoever you want to love. Don't let anybody stop you from loving whoever you want to love. But me personally, I'm not gay. And uh, secondly, they're not gay. So that if I was gay, they're not. So that puts another boundary in the way. And thirdly, both of them have girlfriends. So that's another thing in the way. So. No! <laughs> is the answer to that question. And even if I was gay and they were gay and they were both single, probably still no. Because, I don't know, it's so far outside the realm of possibility or what could happen or is happening or anything like that, that I just can't imagine it anyway. What is your favorite Disney movie? Wally counts, right? I love Wally. I know it's a Pixar movie, but I think Disney, like, published it? Right? I can't, I can't remember. I think Disney had a, had a hand in that movie. If so, Wally. I love Wally so much. It's so damn good. I got so emotional over that little tiny robot and it's amazing how much emotion something can evoke with just like eye movements or just little tiny beeps and bloops and sounds and being able to say two names. Wally and Eve. Or Eva. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. That, that movie floored me when I first saw it and I love the sound design in it. I love all the colors. Some of the scenery is phenomenal. If, if that doesn't count, then probably Hercules. That was one of my favorites when I was younger. And I think that kind of... I went back and watched it like a couple of months ago. Or back at the start of the year and I was like, ah, it's not as good as I remember. But it just has a special place in my heart and I love that movie. Will you ever cosplay? That would be amazing. I don't know if I ever will because, it, well, 
Not unless, like, some outfit is- I, I can buy an outfit, or an outfit is made for me by somebody or some company or something. I- I highly doubt I'm ever gonna cosplay if I'm the one who has to make the costume, because I don't have the skills, and I don't have the time or the patience to be able to do that. Any of you out there who make your own cosplay costumes, fucking bravo! Because they take a lot of work and effort and time, and they're so tedious to make, and I can't do any sort of tedious work. I just lose patience. Well, I, I, earlier in the video I said I'm patient, but then it's just when the little nitty gritty things have to happen, and it's just monotonous work over and over again, that, I don't know. I keep saying I wouldn't have the patience for it, but at the end of the day I've never really tried, so who knows? I'm a determined man whenever I put my mind to something, but I would- I'd love to cosplay something sometime. I don't know what it would be. Lately I just want to cosplay Junkrat from Overwatch because I love him so much. He's so awesome. He's so- he's such a lunatic and I love it and he's my favorite character to play in the game as well. And I just love how he laughs at everything. Even though it's maniacal, crazy laughter, but I just love it so much. That or Tracer, but I don't think I have the legs to pull off Tracer. <laughs> how would you describe your nipples? I don't know. Normal? Round? Slightly pokey? And oh, so twisty fresh! When you do sleep that one millisecond that you do sleep, are you reckless or calm? Love you, bro. Love you too, bro. <laughs> um, when I do sleep that one millisecond, I sleep like this. And then it's gone. That was, that was longer than a millisecond, but a millisecond to me is longer. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. There's a joke there to be made. <laughs> Jack, there's something behind you! Yeah, it's a spider loaf! Hello, spider loaf! Also, technically there's something behind me all the time. There's something behind you right now. There's something behind all of you watching this right now! Probably just like a pillow or a window or a wall or something, but there's still something behind you. How do you deal with planes if you're afraid of heights? This is the weird thing. Planes don't bother me, like, at all. I've been in dozens and dozens of planes. Even this year I've been in so many planes. But when you're up in a plane, you kind of feel safe anyway. As much as you can feel safe in a big steel tube that's flying around in the air and being battered by the elements. But at the same time, you look out and you're like, yeah, I feel cozy, I'm sitting in a chair, nothing's bad going on. You are up high, but the heights that freak me out is if I'm on like the top of a building and I'm looking down on my own, of my own volition. And you can kind of feel the wind, you can feel the sway, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. In a plane, put it, put it this way, in a plane I don't feel like I can fall out the window and fall to my death. If I'm up on top of a stairway that's really tall, it feels like I could probably fall over the railing and die. Or if I'm up on top of a building, the wind could blow me off or something like that. I don't know. It's a weird feeling. And even so, the fear of heights, if any of you are afraid of heights, like legitimately afraid of heights, and nobody seems to understand, it's like you're just afraid of falling, which is not the case at all. When you're up on top of a height, it's just looking down gives you that like feeling in your stomach and your balls and your legs. You just feel like jelly all of a sudden. You get those butterflies. You get the willies. Put it that way. So, I don't know. It's weird. I can't explain it either. Talk to a scientist. Do you have any bruises or scars from when you were young? I don't have any bruises from when I was young because those disappear pretty quickly. But I do have a scar here. You can't really see it. Uh, can you? See that line right there? That's, that's my scar. I, I the, these caterpillars kind of cover it up every now and then. You can't really see it. But, when I was younger, uh, one of my brother's friends, we were throwing around a stick. And my brother's friend at my granny's house threw a stick. I, I told the story before, I think. He threw a stick and hit me in the face and I started bleeding. Um, and then my brother chased him down the road. <laughs> Looking back at it now, it's kind of funny, but at the time I felt terrible. But, I, I have a scar from that. I have a scar on my finger. I have a scar on my finger in here. Kind of, you can't see it on camera. Um, I cut myself with a knife when I was younger. And, I think that's about it. I think those are the most visible ones I have. Are you ticklish? Mother of God, yes. Not in, it's weird. On my sides, I'm not that ticklish. Only on my right side. On my right side, I'm super ticklish. I can even tickle myself. Which a lot of people are like, you can't tickle yourself, it's impossible. I can tickle myself because there seems to just be a big ball of nerves that run down my right side and if I touch it kind of like makes me go like that. It doesn't make me laugh or anything, it just makes me all spaz out. But on the left side, I'm fine. I mean, if somebody else tickles me, I I'm ticklish a lot. Under my armpits, not so much. On my feet, not really. My feet don't get ticklish, they get itchy. If somebody like, Gently rubs them, gently rubs my feet, then they get really itchy. I guess ticklish. I don't know. But yeah, I'm very ticklish. <laughs> and that does it for this right in your comments video. Holy moly. That was great, wasn't it? That was a grand old time. Did you have fun? I hope you did. We're at the end now. I'm sorry. I wish there was more, but that's all the comments I got from Twitter. Oh yeah, I did it on Twitter this time. I'll probably go back to YouTube next time. 
I don't know. I like to keep it varied and like to mix it up every now and then. Because I haven't done a Twitter one in a really long time, so sorry about that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys. Now we'll see all you dudes. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, God. So. Killing two puppies, absolutely awful. Why would anyone ever want to do that? I, I would absolutely despise doing that. Being sick for the rest of my life. How sick? Are we talk- That's it. Video's over. There is no more. I don't know why you're even still here. How many of you stay around for these? How many of you know that these are even here? If you do, shh, it'll be our little secret.